this is my next project, um, which is a, a larger kettle for what I'm doing. I managed to get this from a scrap dealer. It's uh, about a 130 litre uh, stainless steel water tank, hot water cylinder. I'll just cut the pipe out of the top there. I'll be welding my 4 inch, four inch ferrule to the top, then uh, cleaning it up. So I can just have my column coming off the top there. Uh, it's got plenty of outlets on it. Unfortunately, some butcher, when it's been taken out of the house, has managed to smash the uh, ferrule for the element. So I need to try and have to straighten that up and re-tap it somehow, or I'll just dock it off. And if I, if I can find another one, I'll just replace it with a, a, a fresh one I weld on there. But there's um, plenty of outlets that I can just screw a tap into to help drain the thing after I've finished a, a distillation run. And what I've just finished doing now is um, shaping out four legs for it. Because I want to put a, my um, gas ring under, that this is the bottom, I want to put a um, gas ring under here. Uh, I could, could run it on electric at some stage, but um, I'm running everything on gas at the moment. So I want this raised up off the ground. So um, I made up a little jig here and, and sorted out a profile of the, um, the bottom of the tank and the uh, angle I want the legs coming off that. And then uh, and trim these legs so that they uh, curve fit the tank fairly well. And uh, my next step will be to TIG weld those on. And then I'll just um, Flatten them, flatten them off on the ground and uh, trim the, the bottom of these uh, these legs off so they, they meet the ground nicely. So that's where I am with that at the moment. It's still got the rem remnants of all the insulation uh, on the outside of it, but I'll, I'll buff that up once I've finished. Another thing it did have, which made it a little cheaper for me, was um, there, if you can see that, it's got a slight split on the top, which is probably why it was replaced. I can just buff that back and run a, run a little TIG weld around there. Um, I will need, to, once I've finished it, to, to fill it up with water and do some checks to make sure it's not got any other any other little leaks that I've missed, but even if it has, I can I can uh, take those up. But it's nice and solid, especially these, these spun end caps, they're beautiful. So I'll TIG weld these legs on and come back and show you where I've got with that. Well, I just finished up for the evening. Uh, I've got the legs on uh, my kettle there, stainless kettle, and uh, patched up that that split piece around here. I will need to level this thing off tomorrow. It's got a bit of a wobble in it, which is well, I anticipated will probably happen. Um, but I'll just go around it. These, uh, the bottom of the feet off so that they sit dead flat as well. And what the other thing I've got to do is decide in the meantime what size ferrule I want to put on the top here. It's my 4 inch one that will go straight off to my regular column. But I do have a reducer that would work with that 8 inch, although those 8 inch ferrules are bloody expensive. Uh, the only reason I'd want to use the 8 inch it's just it will make it easy to get get my hand down in there and start cleaning the thing out. But other than for that reason, I'm quite happy to go with the little four inch, which just clips straight onto the, the column. Everything I've got at the moment that I'm using on my uh, 50 litre pot still. Yeah. Oh well, I'll sleep on it and uh, come up with a decision by tomorrow morning. So it's the next morning here now, um, we're in a, a semi-urban area, so I can't rip into stuff with uh, angle grinders just yet, I'll wait until it's about 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning before I, I do that, um, I want to make any enemies. <laughs> what I have been doing is just marking out the feet here, uh, and the angles that I want to cut those off at, but I was made sure that board that the tank's sitting on uh, is nice and level across it, then I leveled up the... Uh, 
sides of the tank. Uh, and then I just went around with my, my Sharpie pen on a block of wood here and just ran around the outside of the the um, feet with that. So I've got the, the wobble out of it now. Just um, went over the bottom of the, the legs with the flapper disc and just um, took little shavings off until it was that they were really really level, really, really sturdy there. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and I've decided in the meantime that I'm just going to put the four inch ferrule on the top of there. Um, a, I'm being a bit of a cheap bastard. Uh, I've had a lot of a lot of work lately, so um, I'll save save the big sucker there. That that, that guy is quite quite expensive. Uh, and this is only ever going to have a four inch column on it. Anything else would be a bit stupid. Uh, the eight inch is actually I originally bought it to fit into this bad boy at some stage. But it's a little ways off yet. I've got to cut the inside, cut this thing open, cut out parts of the inside of it, and do some surgery. But uh, this will do nicely. Um, I had a stuck this torch in and had a squiz down the centre there, and the inside of this is mint. It's it's really clean, bright stainless steel. Uh, it's not like you see the inside of some of the um, copper water cylinders that are all calcified up. This is the, the inside is, is better than the outside. <laughs> I could turn it inside out, I would. Um, so yeah, I'm going to weld that on there now. Uh, I'll throw my level across there. Now that I know the the tank standing upright, that's true on the base and the sides are the ver the vertical. Um, I can mess around with my ferrule and make sure that the the ferrule sitting perfectly flat on top. Last thing I want is to, to weld it all up, mount my column up the top there and it's going off on a crooked hat or some Dr. Zeus invention or something. Uh, so yeah, just, just chewing everything up as I go. I'll just finish putting a bit of an arrow on the, the edge of that ferrule where it's going to uh, get welded onto, onto the tank reason for that is um, you want to get penetration into here with your TIG welder when you make a nice weld around the outside of that. Um, so just use, use the flapper disc on there and uh, arrest, the, arrest the edge of it. I'll drop the, drop the door and uh, do my TIG welding. Uh, if you're about to start TIG welding or, or not done much of that sort of stuff before, um, you want to inhibit any airflow around, the, around you when you're welding. Um, it blows your gas shield away and gives you really shitty welds.